Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. I'm with a really special person here on my right. Sarah. Hi, everybody. Uh, we are here in the Stampin' Up! home office in Riverton, Utah, for a very special occasion. Sam is here with us because we are honoring her for her million sales achievement. Now that's creator date sales, but that's a lot of stamps, ink and paper. And she has been awesome in her business and been consistent and earned this amazing milestone. So we are honoring her and one of her requests was to do a video with me. Now we don't know what we're doing. We no. have a plan, kinda. We sort of have a plan. So, um, Crazy Life Crafting, you've all heard me talk about it before. Uh, we're not doing it quite so crazy live because nobody's here really to tell us what to work with, but somebody has selected two stamp sets, some ink and a punch and some paper. And we're just gonna have a bit of fun now. See what we can make in 10, 15 minutes. Whatever time frame you wanna give us, <laughs> you are the boss. You are so, the boss. Yes, we've got some new stuff. And yeah, we're filming February very early, aren't we? We are, so these products are have not come out and won't until June. And so if you see labels or written colors on the ink pads, then you will know why. And we may not know the names of all of these <laughs> either. So Sam will have to do that on the other side of this video in the captions so that you can know what products we're using. But we are using new, new stuff in colors. New in colours, yes. Which is going to be awesome. Very excited. So, right. What should we make? What do you want to make? Do you want to make a card? I'm going to go cards. If, and you're going to... I'm going to go 3D. Okay. Okay. I have 12 by 12 and I've got 6 by 6. Well, and, and Sam is here with Luke. Luke, can you set a timer for us? It's hard to create on the fly. Mm-hmm. I might need a pen, but I can do this. Okay. Well, we have, we have people that can get us what we need. That's okay. Okay. You ready? Yes. <laughs> Set. Go. Go. Right. Okay. So. Okay, first you have to see this amazing designer series paper. Mm -hmm. You do that side, I'll do this side. Okay. So many different florals. So pretty. And patterns. Oh, and those are totally different on the other side. Yes. We've got some eclectic colors, all the in color yeah, stuff. So that's that's your side. Yeah. This is my side. My side. It's mine now. <laughs> <laughs> You've just assigned yourself a side. I have. I love these. So I'm making it. Okay, I'm making cards. You're making cards. Right. I'm. I'm gonna make a box, and I need two colors to go with this, or two. What I want is two patterns that complement but clash. Those two would be a good one because I've got the same colours in there and there. And I love these colours. I'm not a pink girl, as in I can't wear pink, but I love pink. I can't wear pink. Okay, Red so pink, so pink in your yeah, pink in your projects then. But pink, yeah, oh. pink in my projects. And what colour? <laughs> we're gonna have to figure out what colour this is, so we can yeah. talk about the colour. Colour. Oh, is it? This is magenta madness, I think. Yeah, it's the yeah. pink color, right? Magenta mm. Madness. You can tell it's really official. <laughs> Here's the ink pad. <laughs> right, so I'm gonna have a lid for this. I'm gonna make a box. I think I make a box today. Okay. Um, so this is six by six inches, 15 and a quarter by 15 and a quarter. When I work, I work in metric and imperial. I carry the two in my head, but I don't share an, an exact trans, um, I don't know what the word is. Like conversion? That's the word, conversion. I don't do an exact conversion because that makes metric either very, very complicated or imperial very complicated. Okay. So I round up or down. Okay. So this is six inches. Mm -hmm. And if I score that, I can score it easily at two inches, one inches. Dead easy because it's a nice fraction. But if I start taking my 15 and a quarter centimetre down, we're into teeny tiny. So you just make it a little just bit Just go smaller. with it. Yes. Okay. So that's why I do the sums for everybody in advance. So it just makes life so much easier. So I think... I'm going to make some of those tiny cards. Okay. You ever make three by three cards? I do. I, I make those. Those are nice to have in your handbag and you carry them out with you. And if you go out for dinner, you leave a tip and you put it in that little card. Oh, that's a great idea. Mm-hmm. 
with your contact information on Absolutely. the back so they know who you are and how to find yep. you. Yeah, so yeah, you put your, your contact details in there and then you've made a card. Because sometimes we just like to make cards just because we want to make a card. How often do you get to make a card because you just want to make a card? Every card I make is just because I want to make a card. <laughs> <laughs> but I love, I love to make cards, so. Right, so that is, I'm trying to work out how so many. So I'm going three by three in okay. inches. So this is the three by six folded in half. So I'm gonna do a few of those. So would it help if I made the box to complement it then? Or, or I can stick it in one of these. Oh. So keep going. I I'm like where you're going. going with that. Okay, right. I'm just gonna make a. I am such a simple stamper. That really shows when I'm under pressure to make something in a limited amount of time. I kind of have like a go-to way I do it. Mm -hmm. So, okay. I'm impressed that you can do a box on the fly like that. Um, <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm working with, yeah, seven. I'm gonna, I was working in Imperial, I'm now working in Metric, it's just. <laughs> My dad and I are exactly the same. He'll measure a shelf that's so many inches off the floor and so many centimeters off the wall, because that's what fits best. You have, everyone has their way. <laughs> I'm the same though. I am the same. Well, and what about all of your, your viewers? Everyone's well, got to have a creative process, right? Yes, and so, well, in the UK we're metric, but lots of us work Imperial still. So you, you, if you know both, it's a good thing. Um, but that's why I share both sets of measurements. I'm trying to decide which color I like. Which color do you like better? This one on pink? <gasps> oh, that hmm. one. What color do I think? Oh, it's just, just, just jade. jade. So when I'm cutting a card base, like so if my card's three inches, then I just do like an eighth of an inch. I just mm -hmm. go in just a, you just go just a smidge. A so that I've got so a board around the outside. I am sitting, um, what I'm doing is I've, I've scored the same all the way along and the same at either end, which means I need to determine how wide this bit is. So, and then that will <laughs> then that will give me a measurement. Hence why I need a pen, but I'm going to have to carry this one in my head. I have a pen. <laughs> yes. I have a pen. Right, thank you. Okay, so so my measurement here. So that's one and a half. So one and a half. Okay, now I can, now I'm, now I'm <laughs> <You're work. gonna> <laughs> Did you figure out what the measurement was? No, I, no, it's because I decided to helpfully work in metric and imperial in my head and I was carrying that figure in my head. <laughs> so, but no, I've got my measurement set now, so that should be fine. Beautiful to go on that. What I wanted to do was have a nice border around. So when that score line is there, I'm gonna have a nice larger oh. border around. So it's all about the color of the paper. And I wanna go mix and match. So I'm bringing in this one as well. So I've got different I love patterns. That. I'm using different patterns as well. They'll just be on really very simple card fronts. I just think that's, yeah, it's, there are so many papers and I, I can't choose which one. I'd have to use them all. And you can make so many. Yes. With that stack of DSP. Mm. Busy creating. See, that's a different one again. Oh, oh, I just... I like them all. Yes, me too. So I'm gonna have that one, I think. Okay. 
Right, I now need to work paper snips and stuff. <laughs> and then ribbon and things. And do you have a bow holder? Yes. So this is going to be a super simple box. And it's going to have the same uh, width. It's a cube box. No, it's not. It's a red <laughs> It's a cube boy. <laughs> It's the same width all the way round. It's going to be square. That's the one. But not a cube. <laughs> this this colour is lush, isn't it? Magenta Madness. Yep. And you used... Oh, you're using all five. I'm doing some monochromatic card. Well, because my card making is really, really simple. I use the designer series paper. I use a stamp set. And then call good. So it's simple. Really, really simple. Stamps, ink, paper. Mm -hmm. All you need. Simple stamping. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Five, Five minutes. Left? Yeah. Okay. I haven't stamped anything. This is going to be a deal. I need your snips as well, please. Mm -hmm. I don't work in 12 by 12 card stock very often. I, mm -hmm. I now have my own bespoke measurement for standard card stock. That, in, that covers both international A4 that I work in and eight and a half by 11 that you guys work in. Yeah, so this is, we're throwing you for a loop today. You are. So I, yeah, so all of my um, boxes and stuff I make with eight by 11. Well, and this would be Sorry. like, like we, don't, we don't, I don't normally work in 12 by 12 either. This is probably just the paper that they had on hand for the colors that we needed. Yeah. So for in colors anyway, so. Many other sizes to choose from. <laughs> okay. What stamps are you going to use? I don't know yet. Okay. I think jar of flowers because I'm putting flowers all over. I will. I'll use the other one then. Okay. We'll divide. Oh, you love these, aren't they beautiful? That's a paper. Mm. I adore paper. I'm a very much a paper, paper, paper person. So that's the first thing I buy, and then all of the stamp sets after that. You go for the paper first. I do, and I do, I, I don't know why I even I, I don't know why I even kind of think I'll look at it first because I know I'm going to buy it first. But yeah, I I will jump to that part of the catalogue and go. Yay! I love them all. I get them all. And then, yeah, and then add in all the stamps after. Oh, look, I have got a bone folder. Oh, there you go. Hey, well, you know you don't need it. Because you can borrow mine. Thank you. Because that's what friends do. Of course. <laughs> I, am a, I am a massive fan of tear and tape. So all of you guys who are watching, you might remember my, I think it was possibly three months worth of filming and I was on the same reel of tear and tape. Really? That's how long this stuff lasts. The same, <laughs> yes. Well, and it's perfect for boxes. It is. I do say that I'm sure I could stick my children to the ceiling with it. It's that strong. <laughs> um, but yes, and it was it was going. So yeah, you guys all remember that one. Me <laughs> and the tear and tape. I was getting excited when I was getting low. Because <laughs> you could get another one. I could. Let's see what one do I want. Hmm. There we go. Oh. <laughs> what did you do? I might possibly have stuck the lid down. Oh, well, there you go. We'll just stick the bottom down too. Okay. I'm, I'm impressed. Did you have more started? Oh, here we are. These are amazing. They are. Love those. That one's gorgeous. So that's okay. That's white twine and and it looks like that misty moonlight, misty moonlight twine. But both Dual. of them have got silver. Mhm. Mm mm. Okay. So did you know that I can't buy a bow on camera? My, really? Yeah, I can't. I I just cannot do it. So what do you do? I tie a bow on camera anyway. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's impossible. 
I just can't do it. And yeah, my hands go camera shy, I'm, I'm sure. So I end up not speaking and talking. And then I hit and hope every time I try a bow. And let's see if we have the magic of, oh, look at Oh, you that. did. Well, it's a bit of a loose bow, but it's better you than I it. normally do. You did it. It's a pretty bow. It was. It was because I've now undone it to redo it. Are you yeah. a perfectionist, Sam? Yes and no. Um, there we go. Look at that. It's clearly, it's the it's the air here has mm. made that ability to tie a bow. It's the Utah magic. That's it. <laughs> so whenever I need to tie a bow, do I need to come out here? You then? might. I should do you that. You should come visit. I should. So I'm going to use this one. Because it has a punch with it. That's the bundle. We so, love that. So nice. I'm trimming sentiments. This is like my go-to, right? Designer mm -hmm. series paper, a stamped sentiment. Yeah. Like my go-to project. It's a good way to do it. Do you know what? Isn't it lovely just to stamp and stick and stamp and stick? Mm -hmm. Crafting under pressure. <laughs> oh, I like the shapes. Is that deliberate? Mm -hmm. Like that. And then I'm going to have pink. The, do you know what these would be lovely with? So this punched out and then you could hand write on homemade lemon curd or homemade raspberry jelly mm -hmm. and attach it with a ribbon around a jar of homemade jam or jelly. Oh, that totally work. And you can even use the reversible stamp the shadow. Oh, yes, of course. Stamp the shadow for an extra bit of color. I like reversible stamps. Mm-hmm. They're fun. Little dimensionals. There we go. Well, that's quite it. pretty. Yeah, and then each of those pick out a colour, a different colour, with the flowers. And all done. The blender pen to pick it up, or blenders, blends. Mm, that blends would be pretty too. In the, each of those. Perfect. Look at your box. And I finished, almost, I'm almost done, but I'm going to do a set of five. And I'm happy with that, just a simple box. That would be good for just a million things. You could fill it some scrumpled paper, scrumpled tissue, and then you could put treats in it, or body lotions, or jams, things like that. Or fill it with sweets and hand it out to somebody. Oh, maybe. there you go. But that's quite a big box to be filled with sweets. So hmm. <laughs> maybe like with tissue paper first. But lovely paper, and I couldn't choose which one, so I went with two of them, which I think is lovely. Well done. But it's a good job. They are lovely, though. And then this one. Yes. And this one. You can get it apart. Are these attached? Oh, they are. They're woven together. <laughs> <laughs> but if I take off the silver... Then I can use it. I can use the blue by itself. Do you know what? It's really nice to craft with other people. It's, it's a nice chatty thing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. you, you don't think about anything else that's going on. You're just thinking about what you're making and creating. It does take and longer, though. That is true. <laughs> because you're chatting. Mm -hmm. That's my last one. I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm actually tidying up. <laughs> Don't you always tidy up though? I do. I I have this phrase, and it's my mum's phrase, but it's don't put it down, put it away. I have heard you say that. I think yeah. it's brilliant. So instead of putting my ribbon down, I would just put it straight back on the shelf or my ink straight back on the shelf. Uh, the only thing I might leave out would be like this until the end of the project. And then, then clean. Clean a bit more away. But yeah, don't put it down, put I'm it away. I'm a messy stamper. So you've got no, your me. box, all I have my four box, sides. All four sides done with a bow on top. And just a little bit of stamping on the front. I've got five note cards. 
using the in colors and the lovely you stamp set. Mm -hmm. And I did some monochromatic ones. I thought those were cute too. So very nice. All okay. of those amazing colors. Beautiful colors. So thank you ever so much for joining us today. It's been fun. It has been fun, hasn't it? <laughs> it has. We'll stamp again. Hope to meet you soon. <laughs> Bye.